Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're gonna go through what we know currently about the lighthouse map. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because a couple of days ago, there was a little statement put out by Battlestate Games, which gave us a four month roadmap, basically from the beginning of September to the end of December. And it has the lighthouse location as the third patch on there. So it's all but confirming that this map will be released this year or definitely before just the end of the year. But if you to take the patches in order, you have 12.11.5, which is the first one. So we would assume that we'll get that at some point this month in September. Patch 12. 12.11.6 which will obviously get is sometime in October and then patch 12.12 .12, which has the lighthouse location we would be seeing that sometime in November maybe so I'm guessing that we are going to see it before the end of the year but once you get up to sort of the December period you're going to be hitting the six month mark since the wipe now the last couple of years it's wiped at Christmas and then wiped around June July in the middle of the year and then again at Christmas so I'm expecting that this map may be released with a wipe and if that's the case I would expect it to be very very close to Christmas which would push it towards the end of December but it could be that they release the map in November and then we do get a wipe in December I'm not too sure or maybe a wipe could be brought forward I just kind of think that giving us a new location and a new big location from what I understand it is with lots of other things at the same time as well daily quests inertia VoIP new weapon malfunction iterations new weapons and other stuff I just think that would probably coincide with a wipe now we know that a a couple of months ago the lighthouse location was in the grey box state which basically means it was wire mesh they were building it they were planning out all of the terrain and where the buildings go and everything and then Nikita announced that he'd moved around 65 to 70 percent of the team that were working on streets of Tarkov over to the lighthouse location map now that doesn't mean that streets of Tarkov is finished by any means that map we're probably looking at well into next year before we see that map I would even hazard a guess and say that it might be middle of the year where we would get a wipe I would definitely expect that map to accompany or wipe so i think it's going to be well into next year but they said basically streets of tarkov was more or less ready to go but there's just a lot of balancing that needs to be done and things like that and that is going to take quite a while so they've moved a lot of the people over to doing the lighthouse map to try and get that one done and dusted now we haven't seen any pictures of this map whatsoever we've not been given any leaks of sort of the gray box state of it we haven't been you know we haven't even been teased with one little screen capture of this map yet so we have no idea what it'll look like but we can sort of surmise that it's gonna look a little bit like woods and shoreline together you know it's the same kind of terrain that we're used to the same kind of assets and things like that but the assets could be changed up because this map will release after unity 2019 has come out and we're looking at maybe seeing some new assets and textures come into the game once unity 2019 is released so we'll be looking at new rock textures new tree textures things like that so i would hope that the lighthouse map takes advantage of that it will be getting developed solely in unity unity 2019 so hopefully we get to see a very good looking map with sort of new textures and things like that i think that would be amazing to see there are rumors that this map will contain a train extract like what we've got on reserve i love the train extract on reserve and it would make sense to put some sort of extract like that onto the lighthouse map so hopefully we'll get something like that but other than that we don't really have any news on sort of any kind of extracts you know the helicopter extracts and things like that those are kind of things that we've been promised for with streets of tarkov but i don't think things like that will make it into the lighthouse map there's two bosses planned for this map one of the bosses we don't really have much information on so but we do know that one of the bosses is going to be a sniper boss who will guard a physical in raid trader so there will be a trader you'll be able to visit on the map but nikita has said in subsequent podcasts that it will be very very hard to get near this trader you will really have to fight to get to him you're most likely going to have to go through his minions there could be raiders there as well as general scavs so this trader is most likely going to have some extremely rare items for sale the rumors are that it'll be rpgs and mines and things of that nature maybe underslung grenade launchers and stuff like that we really don't have any confirmation of that but for it to be guarded the way it is it's definitely going to be, have to be selling sort of rare items the other thing that you'll have to consider is you'll have to take your money into raid with you to get to this trader you've then obviously got to fight your way to him and then fight your way back out of the map because you'll come up against no doubt other scavs and other pmcs that are on the map so yeah it sounds like a challenge but that's the information we have on one boss the other boss we don't really have any idea at all but there is rumors that there's going to be a usec base or camp on this map so the other boss could maybe be based there it might be slightly easier to take on 
than the sniper boss that is guarding the trader. The size and scale of this map, we don't really have any idea on that as well. The rumours are that it's going to be a fairly large map. Now, I expected that because they were sort of pushing it out as an intermediate map between now and Streets of Tarkov, that it would be a small map, that it'd just be something to keep us ticking over until Streets comes out. But it seems as though, from what I'm hearing, it's going to be quite a large map, which is good. Looking forward to that. And that's pretty much all the information that we have on this. I planned to do a video like this quite a while ago, but again, we didn't really have any more information than what I've got now, apart from the road map that has come out, which has spared me on to do the video, because it, like I say, it all but confirms this map will be coming this year. We're already in September now, you know, the year is ticking away, so hopefully November, early December, we might actually see this map drop and we will get a go on it. So until then, if there are any more rumours or we get any sort of leaks or any information about it, I will, of course, do another video, but for now, this is all we know about the lighthouse location so as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're currently not doing so that would be amazing stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care